And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is live action from the Saudi Pro League. Stuart, tell us about your pre-match thoughts. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out, who will affect the game, and who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent, so what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, three goals in the last three games. He's in great form at the moment, and he's playing with confidence as well. Every chance he could add to that tally today. And this is how the hosts will begin the game today. Well, this system gives them a good defensive base. A well-drilled back four, a solid midfield with wide players tucking in, and two forwards who can press the ball. But does it provide enough fluidity going forward? I'm never sure. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. And the game begins. And that is going to be a free kick. A decisive clearance it was. Al Harbi could cross it in here. Paulinho. Well, they keep the ball moving and played the pass well. Promising attack this. Never Banega. And offside it is. towards the near post ah goalkeeper's ball not the best of crosses really was it Vanega Atan Bahebri and now Vanega we're getting the ball forward still level here but the pressure escalating could play it in and that came off the defender, so it'll be a corner. <laughs> Who can they pick out? Well, that's the end of that for now. Plenty of options. 
Fed over towards the back post. A deft clearance. Mansour Al Harbi. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? And, the... and a goal! Now they have their opener, and now they can celebrate. Well, here it is again, and having got a touch on it, he'll be a little bit disappointed he didn't keep it out. It was a good effort, though. And back underway. 1-0 it is. Slipshod passing. He's got the right idea with that pass. And a goal! An end-to-end -end game! And they weren't behind for long! Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. And a tidy ball. Moving it forward. Teammates in the middle. Well, the danger is still there. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick. Disappointingly, straight into the wall. Promising looking attack. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. And it's two for him today. A masterful performance, the defenders unable to stop it. Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half-time here. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, it's been an incredible performance from him. Clearly the difference between the two sides. Obviously the goals, but his movement too. He's causing the back line all sorts of headaches. He'll no doubt be desperate to grab the hat. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins.
Iago. Well, an easy one to cut out, really. And beating the defender. Must be! And it's gone in! The team's separated by two goals now. You cannot say they don't deserve it. Well, let's take another look, and it's not good enough defensively. They're slow to react, don't get tight enough, and don't deal with the situation. And there's the outcome. No shortage of goals in this match. 3-1. On a pass that lacks quality. Well, the hosts, as you can see, haven't enjoyed the majority of possession. But when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas. And it goes down as a missed opportunity from there. So a personnel change then. A possession lost, intercepted. Vanega and slipped through beautifully not all that convincing defensively and they can't quite take advantage in the end crisp tackling and they need to get tighter has eyes for goal well it turns out to be fairly routine for the keeper in the end Edev. An awful lot of green space to run into. And the goal kick is the outcome. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Al Harbi and Jai and now Banega. What a bad pass it was. So almost at full time, and the home side very much in command. Stuart, what have you made of their overall performance? Well, I think the scoreline reflects the difference between the two teams. For most of the game, they've dictated the play and they've created some really good chances. I think it's been an excellent performance. That's a nice-looking ball. Not away completely. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. Now they've lost it. Carlos. And threading it forward. And he takes it away. Five minutes left. Oh, big chance. 
And the problem not completely solved. Oh, what's he gone and done? Off the post and back in play. Goes to attack from the wide areas. And a struggle to get it away properly. Danger averted for now. Eder. And there goes the final whistle. And the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area. And they also look threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them. His performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart. Well, he looked a top-class player today. Every time he touched the ball, he was a threat. And he worked so hard for the team as well. What a good display that was.